27 module 2. Module 2 is all about simple statistical instruments. This lesson tends to formulate simple statistical instruments. Let us now have the free test. We are going to identify each of the following statements below. Choose the letter of the correct answer and write it on your paper. The answer for number 1 is A. The answer for number 2 is B. Continue answering. The answer for number 3 is B. The answer for number 4 is A. And the answer for number 5 is B. You can pause for 2 minutes to answer the recap and write your answer on your notebook. Let us now have the lesson. The nature of data. Data is a collection of facts or set of information or observation under study. Data is classified into two types, the quantitative data and the qualitative data. Quantitative data consists of numbers representing counts or measurements such as weights. Qualitative data can be separated into different categories that are distinguished by some non-numeric characteristics. Examples of qualitative variables are gender, major classification, political party affiliation, religious, marital status, and others. Let us now have example number one. You can read it. Quantitative data can be either discrete or continuous. Discrete data result from either a finite number of possible values or a countable number of possible values as 0 or 1 or 2 and so on. Continuous data result from infinitely many possible data that can be associated with points on a continuous scale such a way that there are no gaps or interactions. Let us now have example number 2. You can read it. of collecting data, we obtain measurements such as weights, heights, and test scores, or we categorize data such as rank, civil status, and educational attainment. The different levels of measurement are classified into four categories, nominal, ordinal, ratio, and interval. Nominal level of measurement is characterized by data that consists of names, labels, or categories only. The ordinal level of measurement involves data that may be arranged in some order but differences between data values either cannot be determined or are meaningless. 
interval level of measurement is like the ordinal level, but meaningful amounts of differences between data can be determined. It has no inherent natural zero starting point where none of the quality is present. The ratio level of measurement is the interval level modified to include the inherent zero starting point where zero indicates that none of the quality is present. Let's now have example number two and you can read it. You can pause for 5 minutes to answer activity 1. Another 5 minutes to answer activity number 2. Another 5 minutes to answer activity number 3. You can check your answer using the answer key on the latter part. Always remember that quantitative data make use of numerical values while qualitative data involve categorical responses. Discrete data can assume finite number of values while continuous data can assume infinite number of values between any two real numbers. Measurements are classified into four categories, namely nominal, ordinal, interval, and ratio. You can have another 2 minutes to answer the value in. You can pause another 5 minutes to answer the pause test. You can check your answer using the answer key. Thanks everyone!